guys, hey guys, hey guys, Luke the Great here again with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And yes, as you saw in that intro, I made a train. Oh god. In the multiplayer that we were doing the other night with Durf, MJM, Sandwich Lizard, and I, Durf started working on a train, and I really, really, really liked what he was doing. And I wanted to make a fully, fully, full done one. Fully, fully, fully full. And apparently in the uh, the update notice for the Pistons, Scrap Mechanic, or I think Cookie Cookie, or I was told anyway, I, I could be wrong there, but somebody had made a train and they used that in like the the info uh, in packet. And, and, and uh, th this was their train. Yeah. So, mine's so much better. It smashed right through theirs. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, I really like the way this thing came out. It came out so good, so awesome. And I figured out a really, really good way to make this work. And there it is. <laughs> I wanted to make it so everyone can use this uh, piston activation thing that I've come up with. Super easy to do. I've got, this is all out of vanilla parts. So no problem there. So this is all vanilla. It can be done all vanilla. I've got mine a little fancier, of course. Hey, hey. You're in the way of my train. Get out of here, you crappy train. Get out of here. Nobody cares about you. Yeah. I've got some modded parts on here. I've got quite a few modded parts on here, but that's just to make it look amaze balls. All right, but the way this works, I want to explain to you guys how easy this actually is. And yes, I want to address, for some people, my headphones are the same blue as my background to make it blue screen. I don't have green screen. I have blue screen because I'm using the felt that I had to go in Bowser's cage. So I'm reusing it. He lives on in some way, but that was blue. So this blue screen, just like green screen, green screen is more popular because not as many things are green. Like this is blue, so you can see. So like, I love it. And I just figured out, yeah, the cord, the wire for it is also blue. So it's picking up the blue screen. So it's, it's invisible. Look at that. It's awesome. I love it. And I'm looking at my, my little screen here so I can see what's, what you guys are saying. It's so cool. And yeah, especially at the top here. Look. Oops. Can you see? Squish, squish, squish. There's actually foam underneath. But it's blue. So it looks like it's just floating on my head. <laughs> it's just awesome. I have the magical floating headphones. And I'm kind of okay with that. All right. Back to this. Let's see what we got here. It really is super simple. It's not a lot of logic. All I have is a sensor picking up when that gets in the way, and that gets in the way when this is on its upturn. And this the sensor is tripping a NOR gate, so it turns it off. The NOR gate is hooked up to an AND gate, and the AND gate is and uh, there's also a switch hooked up to the AND gate. So this would just be on all the time if I didn't have this switch. But what it does is it turns the you turn the switch on. This gives the piston power. It starts to do its cycle. When it gets to about here, it triggers that. It triggers that sensor. That one under there because that is moving because this thing is all on a pivot. It triggers that sensor. Turns the piston off because that sensor is hooked up to a NOR, so this will be turned off. And then, of course, the AND will turn off because it's not getting all the signals. That's how logic gates works. And it just continues the cycle. And the way to get it to go in one direction, the direction that you want, a little bit of weight. You see how this is actually facing down a little bit instead of perfectly straight? That's because I have this metal block on there. See, it went slightly up. Put this metal block on there. And actually, on this one, I have one of the ultra heavy blocks from the mods, because give it a little, little extra. But a couple metal blocks, if you want more, firm, that's fine. And it just starts it in that slightly downward. So when it starts, it's going to go around this way, not backwards. That was a problem that we were kind of having uh, in the multiplayer. But I, I figured it out. You got to have the weight in the right way. And you think that the weight on top would affect it once it gets moving? It totally does not. But here we go. Flip the switch on and ba-boom. Now, if these were on the ground, they would have more resistance and it actually does go a little smoother when you've got weight on it and some resistance from the ground. 
I know it looks but it does smooth out, which you will see in this one. But this will be on the workshop as an example on how to make a really well, good working piston engine. Oh, and, and the speed adjustment is just in this. You can make it slower, you can make it faster. If you make it too slow, it starts to not work. But if we have that on the fastest now, see, a little faster. There you go. And all you have to do is whatever the size of the wheel is, in this case, it's five. It's a five draw. You just have this set to five. There you go, because it's moving one, it's one, one, two, three, four, five. If you have a bigger wheel, like I do, you have it go farther. Or a short, smarter wheel, you have it go shorter. But, but bam, but bam, piston, engine, working great. And the reason I have three wheels is it helps keep this bar in perfect alignment. You can do it with two wheels, but then you start to have some weirdness. It does work, but sometimes like one will go up and one will go down and it really messes things up. Three makes it work perfect every time. That's why I have three wheels on that one. So let's put this away. Let's stop this. It does work every time. I love it. I love it. It works great. Look at this behemoth. <laughs> so the the giant metal canisters, I guess they're called, the, the barrels, uh, they're vanilla, of course. There are a lot of vanilla parts in here, but there's also quite a bit of mods. Basically, I'm just using the, the main mod packs kind of things, like uh, the mod pack, the mod pack beta, uh, the mod pack polygons. I believe that's it. I don't think that there's no legacy stuff in here. But those are the big main ones. I will have it, so whoop, just check that out. I love it. I love it. So this is like sort of a modern take on an old-fashioned steam train. It's kind of smoothed out. There aren't a ton of things going on. You can see there's actually thrusters coming out the smokestack. You will hear that, believe me. It's, it's so awesome. All right, and all you have to do, there's actually two ways to drive it. You can just push W, you know, forward, and it goes forward. And of course, steering is A and D like normal, so it just drives like a perfect little train. Well, not so little. It's pretty good size. Oh, let's close that door. That's number one. Blip, 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 blip. Okay. And you can steer. It does slow down when you start to steer because it, it, it'll get those slightly out of sync, but they will get back into sync after a while. No problem. <laughs> there we go. And... When you stop, let me see here, sometimes because of the torsion, it might actually make it go. What you're looking for is the bar that has the uh, the piston on it and the, get really close, that right there. <laughs> uh, if that is slightly facing down, you're good. If that is slightly facing up, then it's going to start going a little weird. And all you have to do is just stop, let it reset itself. See, now it's slightly up. That might actually give us trouble. Yep, all right. But then you pulse it. And then you're going down again. Perfect. All right. And you can actually do it. Come on. I've got a little bit of reverse on here, too. Pulse it. Come on, do it for me. Okay, now we're facing down. All right. This will actually make it go also. So this thing will ride straight anyway. It can't turn without somebody in it. But it will drive perfectly fine. So I am really am working on making a commuter train. I have to have different cabs in the back of this. And of course, that is the door to go out the side. No problem. This is the door to go out the back. And watch, I love it. I want to actually show you that. Is that number two? No, nope. two is the lights. Lights, lights. And eventually we'll hit the wall. That is the trailer hitch. That's number three. So I want to start making cabs for this. First one I think should be like the coal cab because this is supposed to be... Oh, let's get out. Let's stop it. This is supposed to be like the engine and this. Ooh, there you go. It does a little bit of shake. This is where you shovel the coal into the boiler. That's that whole thing. I did not a lot of research on trains, but I, I kind of knew it from being a kid, like how trains work. Eh. And I looked up one picture. This picture. There it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to make it kind of like that, and I liked it. So this is supposed to be where you shovel the coal in, but of course the coal from comes from another cab that's out the back, and then off the back of that, and ba -ba 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 -ba, I keep on, I can make tons and tons of cabs. I might have to do a little bit of uh, engine work in them too, just to help. 
because I'm not sure how strong this thing really is, but uh, we'll find out. All right, but mo notice this. I love this. When you when you do it, number three. That's not the right one. Number four, sorry. It closes and the stairs. That's the pistons. I love it. J -j 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 -j. So it's nice and flat on the back and then burp, 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 stairs appear. I love it. And this is just a little co-pilot chair. And you don't go through the ceiling. It's tall enough that you just go into the cab. Ha -ha. And of course, we still have another one. Gotta have a horn. Gotta have a horn. All right, now let's see if we can hear this now. Wait, if I go forward. You hear it? Those are the thrusters that are up in the top of that chimney stack. And it just, it simulates the sound of a train and I think it's awesome. And of course, I couldn't do it without adding a little extra. Had to have a little extra. So it also has that last switch there, that number six. It's got a little bit of boost. Super speed! And seeing as how the wheels are going faster, it actually makes the pistons go faster too. So everything still keeps in like perfect alignment and it makes it chug chug faster. Listen. I love it. This is so a train. Oh god. So I can get some extra boost and something else that I added. Oh, let's turn that off. And it actually has reverse. The reverse isn't actually making the piston go. It's just pushing the car backward, which of course turns the wheels and kind of makes the piston go. But the verse is just thruster. Come on. There we go. And you can get it once it starts doing it, the, the piston does go. So it does have reverse, so you can back up and uh, actually link up that, like a train or something, some, some kind of cab. But I'm totally looking forward to doing more stuff on this. This is a great cab. This is a great front of a train. Come on. There we go. Haha. <laughs> I love this thing. And I got all the special like just so many details on this i know a stop sign in the front is a little weird and yes i'm still on the world that we're actually just doing the multiplayer thing and i never i never left never left it slows down on the corners but it is totally a train and in case anyone was wondering i am totally just oh, let's go back to there you go none of these tires are powered it is all getting power just from these two pistons one on this side one on the other side that's it guys that is it i love it give me some ideas in the comments of what kind of train cabs i should make like i don't know could i should i try to do like a luxury food cab or like uh a place for people to sleep and i definitely have to do like the coal carrier cab just a little one in the back to put the coal in the wood in to feed into the uh I can't get in from this side. There you go. To feed into the furnace. And what else? I don't know, man. Let me know. I know you guys will have some good ideas. I just had another idea, but I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> but yeah, let me know, guys. And I hope you like what? I hope you like my train. It will be on the workshop. Enjoy it. Look at all these details. It's totally a steam train. I've got like the pipes and the, the, the spigots and all kinds of stuff. And yes, this is from the... Uh, these are actually switches. I mean, you saw me push them. Those are modded, but a lot of fun. And we can just put the thruster. Uh, and it'll push us forward. Not really well. <laughs> but the combination of everything. And that thruster. Oh, boy. Now we're moving. I love it. This thing is so intimidating. And it works so well. Yeah. All right, guys, if you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. If you really like what you saw, make sure to subscribe, share, favorite, all that good stuff. I almost tipped it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit up my Discord. Make sure to hit up my Patreon. Check it out. See what you like. Talk to me on Discord. Do extra stuff with me through Patreon. You can get all kinds of sneak peeks and extra goodies and scrap mechanic goodies and arc goodies and all kinds of cool stuff. And... Have a good day, have a good night. I love you and goodbye. I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna hit it again. Ugh, get my way.
Get out of my eye, that's what you get. That's what you get, you crappy train. Sorry to the person who built it, but mine's better. <laughs>